All right, so last, of course not least though, um, dessert. We're gonna do a quick and easy shortcake. This is a very, very simple and straightforward recipe. There's five ingredients, that's it. And then you cut them, you bake them, you're done. Traditionally served with strawberries, strawberry shortcake, but we're just working seasonally here, so we're gonna be using blueberries. I have my butter, it's all cubed up. You wanna cube it up real small. And to our flour, this is four cups of whole grain flour, whole wheat flour. You can use white flour, you can use cake flour, but again, in the idea of being healthy, and to be honest, when we're loading it up with sugary berries and whipped cream, no one's ever gonna notice that this is whole flour and not white flour. It's just a little bit healthier. So to this, we're going to add our dry ingredients, which is sugar, baking, uh, baking powder, and just a tiny, tiny pinch of salt to offset some of the sweetness. But again, it's only three tablespoons of sugar to the entire four cups of flour. So the cake itself is basically just flour and butter. So I added in my dry ingredients, my sugar, my salt, my baking powder, and now I'm going to add my butter in. Cold cubed because you don't want it to break down too much. Obviously butter melts with heat. So we're gonna work with our hands and mix this as little as possible. So I'm just gonna coat this in the flour. And then I'm just gonna start breaking this flour up with my hands. Uh, true pastry artists, which I am not, um, will go through this method. They kind of roll the pads of butter between their thumb and their first finger. And you wanna flatten it out. You wanna increase the surface area of it so it's almost like little sheets of butter floating through your uh, flour, rather. If anybody's ever made biscuits before, it's nearly the exact same recipe. So really what we wanna do is mix this in and uh, macerate, I guess, this butter into the flour until you get, into a, you get to a consistency where it's kind of sandy and so that you can grab a, a hunk of it and squeeze it in your hand and it'll sort of hold the shape. That way you know that the butter's incorporated completely. So we're looking pretty good here. And to this, we're going to add milk and cream. What we did is we just took half the proportion of heavy cream and added in whole milk in its place. So now that we have the right consistency here, we're gonna add our mixture of wet. Whenever I'm adding wet ingredients to dry ingredients, I always add half first because who knows, maybe you measured wrong. Mix it through just to make sure you're not ruining your entire batch of everything. Mix this together until you get the right consistency of dough. Slightly dry, slightly crummy, um, you know, isn't falling apart, but is kind of struggling to hold together. And that's what's gonna provide your flakiness for the biscuit that we're gonna be uh, baking off in just a couple of minutes here. So once it's all incorporated, we're gonna turn it out and we're gonna flatten with our hands. Uh, you'll find that most recipes tell you that when you're working with biscuits or you're working with shortcake, that you wanna work with your hands, not a roller. Uh, this is something that we're looking to have a bit of rise to. And if you're working with a roller, you're gonna be pressing all of the air and stuff out of it and you're not gonna get the proper rise. So we just flatten with our hands real gently and move around and then we cut. We're using a smaller cutter. Nice little quick pro tip too is push down, don't twist. When you twist, what you're doing is you're causing the edges all the way around this biscuit that you're cutting to kind of lock together and hold in. And then you get a weird uneven bake. So you wanna go straight down, straight out. Straight down and then straight out. And ideally, as you can see, we've got layers. I can even peel this back. So when this bakes, you just know that it's gonna be nice and airy and fluffy. And these bake for 10 minutes on one side, another five for the other at 450 degrees. I don't like taking berries that are fresh and local and in season and cooking them with all sorts of different flavors. That's not my style. I like the, the berry to come through. And in order to get it to come through and the flavor of it to come through more, uh, we're gonna go through a technique that they call macerating, which is basically just hitting them with a little bit of sugar I add a little bit of vinegar to kind of counterbalance the sweetness in lieu of adding any salt to it. So this is just a little bit of your traditional white domino or table sugar, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, and then we're gonna mash those berries up and let them sit. The sugar and the vinegar, it's gonna to start to break the berries down, pull the natural juices out, and it develops almost a natural syrup that they'll just sit in. And then we're gonna to top it off with whipped cream. 
Uh, whipped cream, again, very simple. Everyone knows how to whip cream. Stick it in a mixer or you mix it by hand until you form what they call soft-ish peaks. I like to take my whipped cream a little bit further because instead of adding refined sugars, I sweeten my whipped cream with honey, not honey that is from the grocery store that has tons of hidden sugars in it that maybe it doesn't even read that on the back. Just good honey, a little bit of it goes a very, very long way. So I'll whip my whipped cream a little further than soft looseness with the understanding that I'm gonna be adding the honey back in, which isn't a dry ingredient. And it's gonna thin it out just a touch more, but it has a really nice honey profile to it as well. A little bit of floralness, and it's gonna work really well with what we're doing today. I'm just slicing these in half. Uh, I just warmed them up to kind of soften them a touch. Um, I prefer, I, pre I always prefer a warmer shortcake, not hot because then, you know, your whipped cream isn't gonna hold. Cold berries, cold whipped cream. So, slicing these in half and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, we're using some of the whipped cream as glue on the plate. So we're gonna stick the bottom piece of the shortcake to it. And then we're gonna do a little more whipped cream on top. And then we're gonna hit it with berries and some juice. And then we'll finish with a little more whipped cream on top of that as well. So it's just layering with whipped cream and berries and whipped cream and berries until you don't need to anymore. So you can see how just macerating them for a short period of time, they already developed like this awesome juice, this kind of syrup, this natural syrup. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Mike Dim Dimmer from Marble and Rye. I hope that you learned a couple of quick tips on how to eat a little bit healthier throughout the course of your meals. Thanks.